broken links and backlinks, also known as 404 errors. Imagine you get an invite to go and attend a party and you get to the party, you're all dressed up, you got your drinks and then you realize you're at the wrong house. That's basically what happens when you got a broken link. And it might be something that wasn't completely your fault. Maybe you've been very, very careful, but you kept putting out Facebook posts and Twitter posts and Insta posts and TikToks and things like that. And they had a link. Well, the link for that particular page has now changed. Maybe it was your domain. Maybe you're going to change the URL or the slug or something like that. But people are still finding that post for some bizarre reason. Maybe it was bookmarked. They're going to click it and it's going to take them to a broken page. 404 cannot be found. Error. You are in the wrong place. This is how you kill enthusiasm. OK, someone has taken time to click a link and they find that. Now, normally there'll be a button that might take them back to the home page, but it could very easily put them off as well. It's going to frustrate your visitor. It's going to drain your overall authority and it's going to hurt your Google search ranking. There are tons of ways you can fix this. There are plugins out there, but if you're using a solution like Rank Map, which you can use for free as a search engine optimization tool for your WordPress website, there is something on there where you can now start to redirect. You can monitor how many times people are coming in and where, how they're getting there for that 404, what was the URL, but then you could redirect them maybe back to your home page or maybe better still to the correct page that they should be at. It's so much better to maintain a seamless user journey and to maintain your website's credibility. Using the 301 redirect is a great solution but in some ways, you also don't want to overdo it. Imagine you've got a thousand links that are using this 301. There could still be a little bit of a delay. So think ahead right now. If you are planning a new website for you or a client, what kind of slugs or URLs are you putting out there? And will they potentially change? And if so, can you handle that with as little 301s as possible?